Have you heard about those crazy gains when people invest in some project and receive 10x, 100x or even 1000x of what they have invested? That's just crazy. But I have some good news. I think I found one project that is really interesting and that it might get you more than 1, 2 or even 10x return from your investment. So stay tuned and let me show you. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and today I'm gonna talk about very interesting project that might get you crazy returns, I would say. Of course, this is a little bit risky because all the projects that are in the early stage are more or less risky. Why risky? Because you never know what might happen in the future and what the outcome might happen for the project. But this project looks really interesting, the team looks very solid and I think it has a huge chance to success. And it's not live yet, it's on the test net at the moment. That's a very good chance and opportunity to get in early and get some crazy returns. So let's take a look at their website. CC Prime. This is the project I am talking about. And this is the distributed data center enterprise grade cloud storage. That means that everybody can share some of their space in hard drives and get some revenue. Of course, there are some projects like SIA or Filecon that are already doing the same stuff and their charts like went up quite amazingly, I would say. But SC Prime does everything slightly different. As we can see on their website, they have a really nice chart showing what is current network capacity and network use. Let's click for more advanced information and we can see that network usage was increasing and then there was some kind of dip. So might be that there was some kind of issue or something like that. But I think I mentioned before, this is just a test net and some kind of issues might happen. So that's normal. We can see some statistics in here and the more detailed data about who is sharing their data and how much of the data they are sharing. So if you scroll below on their website, we can see more details. It's compatible with easily transition S3 workflows, Veeam, Comaflow, Dell, MC and more. And that's really awesome because S3 workflows and all those other stuff is being used in the data centers. As you know, or maybe not, so I will tell you, data centers uses a lot of energy and they are expensive to build and maintain and so on. This product is compatible with these data centers. Now, as I know, we are testing on Amazon data centers and that's really great because Amazon is like one of the biggest ones. At the moment, it's already taking the data from the third providers, we can call them like this. Amazon does not have all the space by themselves. And SC Prime has a huge chance to provide that space to them as well, with much, much cheaper costs. Because you don't need to build a huge data center to prepare everything to make that it secure and so on. We already created the algorithm that the data would be secure, the data will be split into many hard disks uh, the people has, and it's already safe. So that's a win-win solution, and that's a huge opportunity for a rapid grow once we go live. As I mentioned before, we are secure, durable performance, it will be sliced into small pieces and distributed to many people who are sharing their space. Cost effective, it's much cheaper just to buy a HD or their miner, I will talk about it later, than to build a huge data center and pulling it down and maintaining and so on. So all this looks really, really nice. But let's take a look what's behind what people are behind this project. Let's go to the team page. From the names I can see that it's quite an international team. All of them has LinkedIn pages, which looks quite solid for me because LinkedIn is the biggest website for professional network. And if people has a LinkedIn profile with the data and the connections, so it's a huge chance that this is a real person, not some kind of mystical or generated person or random person with random picture to get your money and disappear. So let's take a look at those 
people LinkedIn pages. So we can see he has a quite simple photo, which looks like a real photo, not some kind of internet generated photo. It looks like he has quite a lot of experience, like three years working with the SC Prime and he's a founder of this company before he was a founder owner as well of some other companies. That's a really long, nice history of this person, Kenneth Scott Bell. Now let's take a look at other developers, what's on the team. So we have lead developer Pavel Dolgov, he's from Russia, working as CC Prime less, just one year and six months. And before he was yeah, also working as a de developer in other different projects. So he's much younger as we can see and has less experience. Now if we take a look at Network Ops IT lead, Jay Rama, also co-founder of CC Corp. He's working less on this project from New Zealand, but has quite a lot of experience in all kind of IT stuff. Senior systems engineer for five years. Yeah, system engineer three years. That's a really huge experience. Now we have one more LinkedIn profile. Chief software architect. He's from Russia as well, um, but we don't have much information about this person. We can see that he has finished Moscow State University and that's basically all. So we don't have information about his past working history. So team looks really solid. As we can see, it's, it's international team. We have one person from USA, one from New Zealand, some from Russia and so on. Uh, so yeah, also we have some kind of advisors. I will not check, I'll check them before actually and they also looks like they have quite a long history and quite a lot of experience. So team looks really trustworthy and the owner is working on this project more than three years. So that's a lot. Um, all the developers and IT, I can see they joined less than one year ago, but still it's quite quite a long time already and looks like the team is really serious serious with this project. Now what we are interested as well is in their social activity. So let's take a look at the Facebook page and we can see that they have quite a lot of posts. Even on December 13 they had a post about upcoming storage provider B weekly meetup. If you scroll down we can see that there are quite a lot of posts as well which is really 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 nice. They have quite a good reviews and we have more than 1000 followers, which is not much at the moment. But like I said, we are not live yet. So as for the project that's just starting to get to the public and they're testing their product, I would say that's not that bad. Not much, not much, totally not much, but still I see many posts and that is really nice. Let's take a look at their Twitter feed and we can see that they have two and a half thousand followers. Let's take a look at the posts and the activity. Yes, comments, retweets, not so many. Of course, there are some likes. These are, as you can see, less popular, has less comments, less tweets, well, a little bit of likes. So overall activity of the followers is not very big. There are some likes, some retweets and so on, but that could be better. So, but yeah, like I said, this is a young new project. So maybe that's kind of okay, because when later more people will know about this, I believe these numbers will increase. Let's check the Reddit account. In here we can see that it's quite active as well. Well, we have 850 members, so not so much, but there are some online. And we can see that the last post was six hours ago, 15 hours ago, 21 hour ago. So this Reddit page looks like quite an active one, which is really nice. In here we can see that community is really active. They are solving some kind of issues, mostly with uh, starting and running their CC prime miner on trying to make their own using Raspberry Pi, which I will not go more deeply into in, in this video, but I'm going to make another video about how to start mining and sharing your space. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see future notifications and the video about CC Prime, Miner and so on, which I'm gonna make soon. Also, we have a white paper, which is like the main document for the project. So if you want to get a lot of details about how everything will be working, you should check 
the white paper as well. If we go real quickly through the white paper, we can see that we have quite a lot of content in here, like project information, business model, implementation, blockchain, network development, and so on. I will not go through all the white paper, but it has a really interesting information. We did the research before starting the project, and we can see that market opportunity is really huge, because space, the people need more and more space. For example, movie industry, if you take a look at HD format, it takes, well, let's say one gigabyte. If it's a 4K video format, it's not twice, like two gigabytes, it's four gigabytes. If it's 8K, which is coming soon, it's coming, actually, it's coming, but it's not that wide, widely popular, you will need 16x of the space for the same amount length video file. So opportunity is really huge because everybody needs space and we will need more space in the future. Now, if you want to get the latest news about CC Prime, okay, maybe not the latest one, but the most accurate, I really recommend you to watch this interview from Action CEO YouTube channel. I will link the video in the description below with the founder of CC Prime, which is really interesting. You can hear the opinion of the founder and what we are thinking about the developing this project and what the per perspectives it's, it will have. Now, if we take a look at CC Prime price, we can see that it's already increased quite a lot. Like just a couple of months ago, the price was around 24 cents and now it's more than $1.20. There is still a huge opportunity to get more revenues. Because like I said, there are just testing their product, they are on the test net and it's not live yet. So can you imagine what will happen when this product will go live? I believe that the price will explode. And now it's increasing really rapidly. For example, this December, I am recording this on the 1st of January. So all the December, Ethereum price was kind of going up, down and more down. And all altcoins were going more down than up. If you take a look at CC Prime price, it's just up well okay there was up and a little bit of the but it's going more up than down and at the moment we are only on a couple of exchanges at least from what we can see here it's south exchange and profit global what that means that means that we're just starting we started with a small exchange to test everything out to test the price and so on to develop the product and once we are alive most likely they will be available on all other exchanges. What do you think will happen once they appear on the bigger exchanges? I believe they will go up. And like I mentioned before, we are recommending to use South Exchange for buying or selling their coin. Just to make sure, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just your friend on YouTube. And this is not a financial advice to buy or sell something. Do your own research before spending your money on any project or anywhere else. Just for the reference, I have some coins as well. I bought it when it was even cheaper and at the moment I'm really glad about that. And we're using blockchain proof of stake and algorithm Blake 2B. I think I mentioned before that you can share the space to get some earnings back because everything is based on the space in here. And in their case, they have their dedicated miner, CA miner in this case, which you can just buy, plug and play, I would say, but just start, plug and it will start mining, it will start to provide the space. No configuration, nothing is needed. So if you want to start getting the coins without a lot of issues, well, not the issues, but without spending your time while configuring let's say your server or Raspberry Pi or, or some other Windows, Linux, Mac OS server to start sharing the space, you can get this CA miner and start earning some coins, some SCP coins. If you want to get the miner, you have to go caminer.net, but it's out of stock. So you can only join the waitlist. That means that people are really interested in this miner, which is a really good sign. But 
like I said, you can create, you can configure your server, the server by yourself and start mining. So this is just an option, which obviously you can choose. So overall, I'm really bullish on this project. You can share your space, you can get some money back and everybody will need the space. I think it's much better when, for example, Chia, which you use the hard disk to create the files. Basically, we do nothing. We just create it and we, we are sitting on your hard disks and we do nothing good. What's the point? No point. Of course, there are more providers like Filecoin and Sia, and these are different. Those are on the market for a, quite a longer time, and this is just a new one. But this project, I'm really interested about this project, is that we are going, they are going to integrate with Amazon services and quite possibly with other huge uh, service provider storages like Amazon, maybe Microsoft, maybe Google. Hard to tell how everything will go up, but as for Amazon, that's for sure, because we are testing how to correctly provide the space for the Amazon. And even now, Amazon gets the space from many small providers, not everything we have by themselves. So yeah, this is a huge opportunity to join early, to buy the coins, like I said before, this is not a financial advice, or to start sharing your space and earn some coins. It's up to you. We are going to start to go live in January, so it means very shortly, maybe in the middle of January, I'm not sure about the exact date, but really shortly. So you still have a huge opportunity to buy the coin and see how it grows, or to start sharing your space before we will go live in mainstream. Of course, this is a risky project like many others. And if you want to get a huge opportunities to earn the money, it's risky. They might fail. Of course, we are working like the founder. It was founded three years ago. So that's, that's a big plus. But of course, we can fail. Many things might go wrong. But I still believe that they will succeed because we have a quite trustworthy and international team with a, with a good specialist. So I believe in them. I believe that they will be able to deliver what we are saying that we will. And we will see. And I, I hope I will get some really nice gains on the coins I have bought and on the space I'm going to share. About the sharing of the space, I'm going to do a separate video about that. So if you like this one, please hit that like button, subscribe to get the future notifications, especially if you want to start sharing the space by yourself, because right now there are not so many videos how to do that. And I'm really like, have to look through a lot of information. So I think this is going to be a really useful video if you want to share the space by yourself and not wait until you can buy that miner, which is, well, never, nobody knows when you would get it. So thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. Hit that like button if you like it and see you next time. Cheers. Most likely I will cut a half of this and I will not keep that part. <laughs>